Welcome, amazing one. And let's solve this beautiful equation together. It's just so easy. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin this with our solution. Now let's repeat what we have. 4 to the power of x is equal to 24. Now what we do here is just quickly take the logarithm of both sides. So we have log of 4 to the power of x is equal to log of 24. Now remember at this point, for every log of a to the power of x, the power multiplies, so it gives you x log a. Now we apply this on the left side, so the x multiplies, it gives us x log 4 is equal to log of 24. Now what do you do next? To get x, you see that these two are multiplying, so we're going to divide, and we are going to divide both sides by log of 4. Now this takes off this, so we're going to have x is equal to log of 24 divided by log of 4. Do you intend to leave it like this? No, it's not yet simplified. Now what you do here is, we know too well that 24 is the same thing as 4 multiplied by 6. So in that case, we can rewrite this to be x is equal to log of 4 multiplied by 6 and is divided by, so this is divided by log of 4. Now remember also, for every log of a multiplied by b, it's always log of a plus log of b. Now apply this rule on the numerator. This gives us x is equal to log of 4 plus log of 6, and this is divided by log of 4. Now, what do you do at this point? We are going to use this to divide each of the numerators. And to do that, let's take it to this part to have x is equal to log of 4 divided by log of 4 plus log of 6 divided by log of 4. Now, you observe that these two are the same. so. Whenever a number divides itself, it's always 1. Please take note. So we have x is equal to 1 plus log of 6 divided by log of 4. Now we keep simplifying this. We know too well that 6 is the same as 2 multiplied by 3. And also 4 is the same as 2 multiplied by 2, which is 2 squared. Now let's put this here to have. And for you to also have to watch through this point, it shows what we do interesting. Don't forget to give this a like, share with your friends. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. Thank you. And let's keep doing this to have. X is equal to 1 plus log of 2 multiplied by 3 divided by log of 2 squared. So we're going to have X is equal to 1 plus. Remember, for this is the same as log of 2 plus log of 3 and is divided by log of 2 squared. Also divide this by log of 2 squared. Now what do you do next? This is the same as x is equal to 1 plus. Now for this, remember the power multiplies. So we have log of 2 divided by log of 2. These two multiplies, we have 2 log 2 plus log of 3 divided by 2 log 2. Now, what do you do next? The coefficient of this log is 1, and these two are the same. So this takes off this, and this gives us x is equal to 1 plus, this is giving us half plus, we have log of 3 divided by 2 log 2. Now, quickly remember this rule that, for every log of A divided by log of B, it's always log of A base B. So we are going to apply this rule on this. And to do that, we are going to have X is equal to 1 plus half plus. So remember, this is 1. Coefficient is 1. So we are going to have half of log of 3 base 2. Now we can add this. 1 add half is the same as one and a half. And this is the same as, use this to multiply, gives you two, and add one, it gives you three. So we're going to have three 
on 2. So in that case, simplifying this, so we are having x is equal to 3 on 2 plus half of log of 3 base 2. So this gives us the simplified value of x. Now we're going to plug this value at the left side to see if it gives us 24. And that is the most interesting part. I wouldn't want you to miss. Let's do this verification together to have. To verify, so we have 4 to the power of, this is our x, 3 on 2 plus half of log of 3 base 2. Now, remember that these are the power. This is representing power of this 4. And also remember, for every a to the power of m plus n, it is the same as a to the power of m multiplied by this. So we're going to apply this rule on this. And to do that, we have 4 to the power of 3 on 2, addition sign, turn it to multiplication. So we have 4 to the power of half of log of 3 base 2. Now remember, 4 is the same as 2 squared and is raised to the power of 3 on 2. Multiplied by 2 squared is raised to the power of half log 3 base 2. Now at this point, quickly remember, for every a to the power of m raised to the power n, is always a to the power of m multiplied by n. So we're going to apply this rule to help us to simplify. To do that, we have 2. You see that this will be over 1. So you multiply the power. This takes up. So we have 2 cubed multiplied by 2. This is over 1. This takes up. We have 1 times this gives us log of 3 base 2. Now remember also, for every a to the power of log of b base a, these two bases are the same. It's always equal to this number b. So we are going to apply this on this. To do that, we have 2 cubed multiplied by these two are the same. So we have 3. And 2 cubed is 2 multiplied 3 times, then multiplied by 3. And when you multiply this, it gives us 8. And 8 times 3 gives us 24. And that is what we have at the right side. So it means that the value of x we got as 3 on 2 plus half of log of 3 base 2 is absolutely correct. And I hope you really learned something today. Don't forget to like this video. I'll also be curious to see your own method in the comments. Thank you for always choosing to lend to us. And if you are still new, don't forget to hit that subscription button. I will see you in our next class today. Bye-bye.